Hi, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and here I have two crochet swatches of half double crochet. You might be wondering what I am doing here because <laughs> this is not a normal tutorial, but I had a question posed in my crochet group not that long ago that asked if it's better to turn your work one way or the other when you go to start a new row. So I've gone up and I've made two swatches of the exact same thing, the same number of stitches, the same rows. The only difference here is that I have done my turn a little bit different. Technically speaking, these two are identical. What we're looking for here is the difference on this outside edge on both of these. You can see the difference there. So let's take a look at the anatomy of these and really get up close and personal and see what these differences are. In this square, I have always turned my work so that my working yarn is in front of my, my piece before I make that first stitch of the row. So all that means is that I'm doing my chain and I'm turning this way so that my yarn is in front of the piece here. Now I will go ahead and do my half double crochets as normal, just like this, and we can see that this is right here, this diagonal bit here is the same as all of these down on the side. I feel like this is a much cleaner way. Let's look at the other way. This is the square where we always have the yarn going to the back of our work before we start that new row. To do that, we're going to chain one and we're going to turn this direction. So that means that our work is coming out of the back of the chain here. And when we do our half double crochets, we can see that as down below, this is coming at an angle up. All of these are coming at an upwards angle. I feel like this one creates a little bit of a looser side. It looks a little bit sloppier in my opinion. I feel like this one where you are always turning your work to the front, it just keeps it a little bit tidier. The main takeaway from this tutorial is that always stay consistent in the way that you are turning your work and the direction that you are turning your work because if you will be adding a border to your piece, it's much easier if you do to do that if you stayed consistent in how you were uh, turning your work because when we go to add our first row of the border, we can place one stitch in the bottom of that stitch there and then one stitch in the row end there and then one stitch in the row in the bottom of this stitch here and one in the row end there and you can place those very consistently and that will really help your border to look very professional and even and uniform as well so you can turn your work either way I think that turning it with your yarn facing the front just creates a cleaner edge and a beautiful um, piece to work into when we're adding that border I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to crocheting more with you soon